Hi folks and welcome to another episode of Tableau in two minutes. Today we're going to be talking about context filters and how you can use them uh, to improve the performance of your dashboard as well as how they impact what is displayed on the particular sheets. To do that we're going to connect to the Superstore dataset using the orders sheet. Then we're going to go to sheet one and we're going to demonstrate this very simply just using uh, category, I'm sorry, we're going to put category on the filters shelf. We're going to select all of those. Then we're going to take subcategory and put subcategory on the rows shelf. And then we're going to take our sales and put it on the columns shelf so we have a nice list. Now I like to sort this too. I'm just going to do it descending by the sum of the sales so we get a nice, neat looking graph. Now, say we only wanted the top five subcategories to display in our visualization. We can do that very easily by just applying a filter to the subcategory, setting it to be the top five by sales, by the sum of sales, clicking OK. And now you can see we have our top five categories, but that's a little bit of a challenge. So if we show the category filter, you can see we have three top categories um, for our, all of our subcategories. And if we take these in and out, you'll note that our top five is no longer a top five. It's sometimes a top three. We can even take it down to a top one because it's filtering out each of the categories but not actually replacing the items, the subcategories with items from other categories. And the reason it's doing that is because the way Tableau processes a top five filter is it takes everything from the database, calculates the top five, in this case, the top five subcategories, and then applies the filters after it's already calculated what the top five are. So every time we remove a category, we just remove those items from the top five and we get the top five as they are without that category, which in this case is only a top three. What context filters do is context filters change the order in which it happens. So everything else will only be applied now that we've turned this into a context filter, right? So you just click that and then click add to context. Everything that we do now is only going to be applied to data that has already passed through that category filter. So what that means in the grand scheme of things is that when we uncheck one of these categories, for example, if we uncheck furniture, we still have a top five, but we have the top five excluding anything from the furniture category because that furniture data didn't pass through our context filter. And our top five is being calculated on only the data that we have left. Now, why is this particularly important? Well, obviously it helps with the top fives, but beyond that, if you use this on your dashboards, particularly in ones where you're struggling for performance, because each filter now has to be calculated on fewer values, because now we don't have any data from furniture flowing through, we only have office supplies and technology, that will speed up the processing of any subsequent filters that you have after the context filter. It will also help speed up any calculations or anything like that. And this can have a significant impact on how your visualizations, how your dashboards perform. The other thing that it will do is it will only show values that make sense in the other filters. So. If we look at our filter for subcategory now, so we'll show the filter, you will see that whenever we add or remove things, then only values that make sense will show up in our subcategory filter. So there you go. Uh, so that. Um, about does it for this episode of Tableau in two minutes. Go ahead and give uh, context filters a try. Let us know how they work for uh, you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. As always, there's a link to the data set and to the workbook in the video description. And we will see you next time.